talked about for the rest of the talk when I go through, when I talk about a bovine diet, I'm talking about a bovine fortifier with the mother's milk and donor milk. And again, the all human milk diet is a human milk fortifier with mother's milk and donor milk. So here are your options currently if you want to use an actual fortifier. And I know we have some international attendees. This is based um, on US products. But currently there are two types of liquid human milk fortifiers on the market that are bovine based. And so um, you're able to add a, a certain amount of the liquid to equal 24 calories per ounce. There are still powdered products, bovine products on the market. And again, you can add four packets of this powder to equal 24 calories. And then we have the new lacto-engineered donor human milk drive fortifier. And as you can see here, you have many options. You can do 24 calories, 26, 28, and 30, up to 30 kcals per ounce. Now, as you increase your fortification, you are changing your ratio of the amount of fortifier that you have to add to human milk. And this, I'm not going to go through all of this, but as a quick comparison, mainly focusing on protein levels. I think these days, uh, in general, neonatologists focus on protein, which is a good thing. These are your, um, this is the American Academy of Pediatrics recommendations for protein in grams per kilo per day, 3.5 to 4. And then SBGAN's um, recommendations for babies less than 1,000 grams. You can see for small babies, four to 4.5 grams per kilo. And so um, I think it's the only slide I have brand names on, but I'm using all brand names. So if you're comparing breast milk with the Similac bovine powder product to 24 calories, that's gonna give you 29, or excuse me, 2.9 grams per kilo per day of protein. If you're using the Mead Johnson liquid bovine fortifier, that's gonna give you 3.9 grams per kilo per day. Similac makes a liquid bovine fortifier and that'll give you 3.6. And then the donor human milk drive fortifier made by Prolacta, this is 26 calories and that gives you 3.6 grams per kilo per day. You guys are probably wondering why did you, why are you giving me uh, 26 calorie prolacta? And that's because um, the way the products were designed, um, 26 is mainly, uh, in those of us that use it, 26 is uh, really what we use. We don't use 24 calorie, so you have to use 26. And so if you're looking at the difference, this is often, um, what are your pluses and minuses? Why would you use one over the other, et cetera? So the bovine human milk fortifiers that are liquid, um, liquid's great, it's sterile. They're able to provide more DHA and more protein than the powdered product. It does displace more human milk than powder. Remember we talked about this dose-related response, uh, that the more human milk a baby receives, mother's milk, the better their outcomes. The powdered product, so the problem with powder bovine HMF is that it's not sterile, and it's clean, not sterile. It provides lower protein, but it does displace less human milk than the liquid fortifier. And then the donor human milk-based fortifier, the benefits to that is studies have shown you can fortify as early as 40 um, mLs per kilo per day, so you can fortify early. It provides an all-human milk protein diet, so there's absolutely no bovine protein. You can also concentrate the calories it feeds without increasing osmolarity. Because it's made from breast milk, donor human milk, 30 calorie is almost the same osms as 24 calorie. And so that, if you're, if you're an osms unit, that's what I call you, an osms focus unit, um, you can increase your calories without worrying about osmolarity. Mm -hmm. Studies have recently shown that um, it decreases the morbidity associated with prematurity and we'll talk about those in a minute, but neck, mortality, sepsis, BPD, and ROP. You do need to give vitamins and iron, and it is more expensive than the other two fortifiers. 